Atențiune! <coughs> Atențiune! Vă rugăm să vă pregătiți! Se aude? Salutare și bine v-am găsit la încă un episod din Manasia Cechin. Am schimbat background-ul, am schimbat un pic locația, suntem tot la Manasia Hub, dar de data asta o să schimbăm un pic tiparul, pentru că chiar dacă intro asta este în română, o să continuăm să vorbim în engleză cu directorul Institutului Ghiote din București. Uh, and uh, I would like for him to introduce himself. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for uh, accepting our invitation. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, so how, how long have you actually been in Romania? Oh, this is a difficult question because I'm here now for one year and a half, but finally, due to the first lockdown, I spent four months in France. So I would say a good year, one year. Yeah. One year? Yeah. One year and a half. Uh, do you live in Bucharest or do you live uh, around Bucharest in another city? No, I'm living in the first sector of Bucharest, yeah. Okay, so let's let's focus on this. You're a new person in Bucharest, actually, and in Romania, because one year is one year, it's not that much. Um, what was your first impression about uh, Bucharest, about Romania's capital, um, in a cultural sense of way? I mean, I'm, I, I bet you, you, you went for your first stroll in Bucharest, and what did you see or what did you... Uh, hear about culturally speaking about this city. Let's say I am only since one year and a half in Bucharest, but I had some Bucharest experience before because I was uh, involved in some European projects, and we had also Romanian Bucharest partners. For instance, the University of uh, of Arts or Fine Arts or Art. So I knew a little bit before, and this is also important because. As a director of a German cultural institute, you wouldn't go to a country, to a town you, you don't know at all. This is too risky. Then you, you come in there and maybe you don't like it. So, so I had already a, a small impression. And, um, and I would say I was already some years ago, when I came here for the first time, very Uh, surprised in a positive way by the young and dynamic and very motivated cultural scene. And it seems to me to be for me a little bit like the Berlin of the 90s. So some years after the fall of the wall where structures didn't really exist in a, in a formal way, but there was a kind of emerging scene. Uh, so this is one of my my main impressions of the cultural life in Bucharest. You you struck a very sensitive chord for me uh, because you mentioned Berlin. I'm sure you know this, but Berlin is like um, a kind of a cultural uh, um, main city for Europe, and that's a very good thing because lots of artists from uh, various domains go to Berlin to do their art, and uh, Bucharest always uh, always wanted to be Berlin. Uh, what 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 are the similarities right now between Bucharest and Berlin? Because let's be frank, uh, Berlin is way ahead of Bucharest culturally speaking. Because you had some years uh, when uh, you you got the uh, the opportunity to develop as a cultural city after the falling of the wall and after what uh, what you described earlier. Yes, when I when I compare Bucharest to Berlin, it's also that I think there is a certain potential. The potential not to become as Berlin is, because first of all, geographically talking, Berlin is in a very different situation. Yeah, it's really um, between uh, Poland and Hungary and, and different countries. So, so Bucharest is much more at the march of, of Europe. But there is a potential, and this has to be developed. But this has to be developed because, as for Berlin, you have many spaces. Uh, you have informal spaces, you have also spaces for artists, so artists could quite easily find also things which are to, to, uh, which are quite ch cheap. And I know, for instance, t three or four German artists living here in Bucharest because it's cheap and it's a good atmosphere. So this has to be developed. Uh, but I fear, for the time being, uh, uh, at least, this that uh, the people who are governing Romania don't really see this potential because there's one thing which is comparable to Berlin but the other thing is Bucharest doesn't attract for the time being too much foreign artists to live here and to stay here and this is a pity 
Yeah? So many things can be developed as we do, for instance, also with the, some galleries here of, of, of fine and modern arts, residency, exchange programs, because you have one point which is so important for you Romanians. You have so many Romanians living abroad. Yeah, that's and true. All the, uh, all, and, but also many, many artists living in Berlin, living in different other German and also French and English towns. So there is also a potential of networking with them, creating uh, uh, links with them, inviting other artists, uh, bringing back their, their international experience to this town. So there is a potential, but as you know, we, we all agree about this, a certain kind of art has to be financed, co-financed by, by, by the state. It's not the market who can regulate these things, but this is a real potential of Bukhara. That's, so that's very true. Every, uh, every guest that, uh, that came to Manasia check-in here at Manasia Hub uh, had this question from me. What do you think about the cultural part of Bucharest? And you pointed out something very interesting and also very true, that in Berlin, um, Berlin had a lot of spaces. Uh, the problem with Bucharest, in my opinion, is, and I'm going to transform this into a question, actually. Uh, in my opinion, Bucharest has a main problem with uh, culture, because the, there, there are not spaces in Bucharest. Um, I don't know, maybe if we think about, let's say, sculptures, or uh, people that do paintings, they don't have the physical space in Bucharest to do this. And uh, the authorities do not do anything to make the situation better. Is this the main problem for Bucharest with, with the art scene? Or uh, is the financing the main problem? Or is it just a mashup between the two? It's, it's, it's a mix, I would say, because you, 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 you said it uh, perfectly. So you have to have, on the one hand, the authorities and helping artists. And on the one hand, you have also to have this grassroots system where people find a building and they have their atelier there and things like this. So it has been a good mix of us. But you know, now uh, with the new mayor of Bucharest, and he, I think, one of this uh, association of arts and is now one of his uh, uh, advisors. And so we can yeah, hope. Speaking about Edmund, yeah. Edmund Nikolushko, yes. Yeah. So we can hope that this this develops because for a, for a big modern city to be a city which counts in an international way, you have to develop the cultural side. So this is one of the most important things. So, and no, I don't, don't want to go too far, but you, you know, I never lived in a city where you see so much big cars as in, in, in Bucharest, yeah? And often also very big German cars. So yeah, when I'm going to work in the morning, I'm sometimes counting the Porsche I'm seeing. Yeah? Yeah? And I'm very uh, uh, astonished because you, you never would see so much big cars in, in France <laughs> than even in Germany in normal town. So yes, this is also special for this part of the town, first sector and things like that. But, but still, you, you see yeah. there is also financially talking a certain certain potential there. Yeah? And I think you should, sh sh I, I don't have to give advice to anybody, but I think it would be good to develop a cultural politics. We're going to move on a bit and yes, um, go I'm going to ask you about my, my favorite part of the show, because uh, this is another question that I asked all my, uh, all my guests. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, cultural hubs. Uh, as, uh, as you can see, we're at Manasia Hub, another cultural hub in Bucharest, actually the biggest, in my opinion. And um, I, I, I always had this idea, if you want to uh, create something, if you want to meet creative uh, people, if you want to meet artists, you have to hang around cultural hubs. And this is a thing, another uh, ace for Berlin, is that uh, they, uh, they had cultural hubs from the beginning. Uh, this is a problem also in Bucharest because there are very few of them in the country. I'm not even counting the one in Bucharest. What do you think about this? I, I think you are completely right um, about it, but, but these cultural hubs, and this would be a question for you also, is, um, are very important because they are also offering often a kind of link between arts and creative industries. So it's not only artistic expression which take place in the subs, but also people, they have their startups, uh, they're, they're going to develop a design thing and so on. And this is, I think, the strength of these hubs, not to be as a pure house for, 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 for painters and like this, but also mixing 
difference for years and also permitting people not only to work in the cultural sector but maybe also develop their commercial their commercial activities but i don't know if it's taking place here you will you will tell me yeah it, it did in the past actually um also with with cultural hubs i would like uh, i would like for us to stay a bit on this subject because it's i think it's very important uh in the past i mean like five or six years ago i hope i'm not mistaken uh, Bucharest had a lot of spaces where uh, stuff used to used to happen. I mean, uh, you said it yourself. The creative industry had their spots where they would uh, go and meet artists, and then uh, they would get together and promote their their work together. Uh, that that was like five or six years ago. Uh, pardon my French, but what the f happened? Because uh, it was like a um, a good wave at at first, and after that, uh, it stopped. But did the pandemic and the social context contrib contribute to, to, to these uh, disparitions of, 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 uh, of the cultural hubs? Did this uh, really influence our, our cultural scene? I am sure that it does, and it will do stay on. But, but as I said, I would really underline this importance of develop a, 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 a cultural politic for country or, or town at least at that level. And this is also the point where, for instance, uh, uh, um, the major could find places which he give to the artist. And give means to give. Not only just to say we are administrating, but to give it. And this is what would, would be a good mixture, and I'm sure that Bucharest could develop in the sense. Yes, I, I think you're right, because uh, it's like a balance, actually. It has to be a balance. Um, you said earlier that, um, uh, you referred actually earlier, that there are some kind of formulas for art projects to, um, to survive. And one of uh, the important components is to uh, uh, I don't know, maybe the state or uh, some private uh, ownership companies can uh, uh, give some sponsorship to artists. This is a good thing, but um, also there's a balance uh, here also, because um, the state, in, in, in Bucharest, the, the authorities do not understand the importance of this component, and also the public does not understand, in my opinion, because I've been to uh, a lot of uh, cultural manifestations, and uh, some part of the public consider that uh, they don't have to pay for, I don't know, uh, for attending an uh, exposition of art or something. That's not normal, because in my opinion, and uh, I would also like to get your opinion on this, in my opinion, it has to be a balance, uh, I don't know, perfectly set or something. This is a very complicated question, because this leads us very far. So the question, art and d democracy? So, oh, and how far, how far access to arts is it's also linked to the democracy? If you think at the opera, yeah, it, at yeah. concerts, at, yeah. at, at, at expensive forms of, of arts, yeah, it's, it's still in a certain way a kind of elite thing. So, so every state, in my opinion, has also to do efforts to permit to people uh, earning less money, having access to culture. So this is very important. But you're right also, if things doesn't cost anything, it's neither the, the good way to it's do It's like it. too cheap, why, why yes. should I go to something that's too cheap? And that's a pity, because... Yeah. Uh, and it's also, sometimes paying is also kind of respect for what artists are doing. So, so I'm, 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 I'm on, your, on your side for this, but you have to pay attention how much and who can come, because, you know, this is also one thing, and you know it better than me, but the, the differences of salary in Romania are yeah. incredible socially. Yeah? Uh, I, I just read that many, many old people, they're living with... Less than a hundred euros. Yes, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, more so, more. so, so, yeah. if you if you look to this, so you have to also to find a way to give them access. And this I would also uh, underline. This point is also one which I think will will stay after after the end of the pandemic. This is the fact that we are going also through this format now. We're going to democratize more and more the access to arts, the access more to access. cultures. Yeah? When, when we make our shows also from the Goethe Institute, 
sometimes in a hybrid way with some people there, but also on Facebook. It's also a way to reach people who are living maybe on the countryside and who don't have the possibility to come to Bucharest, but who are interested in, in, in culture. So this will also stay a form of expression, I'm sure, about this. I asked you this because in my head art doesn't have to be um, a financial, uh, doesn't have to have a financial condition. I mean, um, if you're if you're not making uh, 5,000 euros a month, uh, if you're making, I don't know, 250, you also get to see or um, taste some art. I mean, art should be for everybody. And I, uh, I'm, I'm fairly convinced that uh, what you said about the, the, the online medium right now that is being used for, I don't know, like half of the artists I know are using this format right now. Because uh, it gets them to more people, more and more people. Okay, um, let's think about uh, an idea. Like, um, if um, an artist from uh, Romania would have to um, move to Berlin and uh, I don't know, have some shows there, what what do they have to uh, do to emerge themselves in the Berlin um, art education way of style? I don't know the, the way of living in Berlin as an artist because uh, I don't. I've just heard <laughs> that uh, it's it's a way about the city. I mean, you, you can be an artist in Berlin, but you if you want to really be an artist in Berlin, you have to go to the underground part of art. How how do you see this aspect? I mean, uh, you know, I'm an I'm an old guy. I'm not living no more in the under underground. Not an old guy, right? Yes, yes, yeah. But uh, uh, I think you you are completely right. But what is very interesting for us is this, you know, um, being an artist means that you say I am an artist. Yeah. And this is quite exceptional in our societies because you can't say I'm a doctor. Everybody will ask you, "Oh, you did you did studies where?" Where is your degree? Yeah, where is your degree? Yeah. But you can you can call yourself an artist. Yeah. So this is very special about the way also we are considering the liberty, the freedom of expression of an artist. So so this is one thing I want to, I, I, I want to quote. And then there is this famous uh, this famous quotation from the former major of Berlin uh, who said Berlin is poor but sexy. And this is also true because many people are going to Berlin but to have success in Berlin is and to sell for instance artworks is much more difficult than to go to Munich or to go to Düsseldorf or to go to these medium-sized cities uh, because there's a, a big, big competition in Berlin, a huge competition in Berlin from international artists. So maybe it's also a good choice to go to other cities than Berlin. Because Germany, and this is something I want to stress, now we are talking about Berlin, it's the capital, it's just, but Germany has this particular rarity that there were always very different artistic centers, very different urban uh, uh, context for arts. So, and this is true for different forms of expression, for fine arts, but also for theater, for, for music and so on. So, okay, what kind of events uh, do you think, uh, um, I don't know, raised your eyebrow in, um, in Bucharest? I mean, did you see some events that are similar to the ones in um, Berlin or Germany or did you say like oh look I didn't see this kind of event ever and Romania is the first place where I saw it or did something catch your eye? As, as, you, as you said with the pandemic situation it's a little bit it's a little difficult since one year uh, uh, I didn't go to the theater I didn't go to a concert hall and so on uh, I did go to the museum and you are lucky because the museums are open and the, uh, uh, and the exhibition halls are open in, in Bucharest so I went to, to, to the Museum of Mare for, for instance and things like this and there was there pretty things I, I saw it's, it's true but as performance, I didn't really see things I, I would remember till the end day, the last day of my life. Uh, uh, but uh, but maybe I can explain you something which is, for, in my in my opinion, positive and negative uh, uh, at the same time. As a director of a cultural institute from Germany, and I suppose for French and other, there is a, a huge advantage working here. Uh, this is one we can approach uh, cultural institutions and they are open to our proposals. This is, the, you may say, what? This, this is quite astonishing what he's talking about. This is due 
in a certain way also to the weakness of the cultural sector. Yeah, I, w I used to work in, I was uh, for seven years, I was director of the Goethe Institute in Paris. When you approach a famous gallery, a museum, and, the, and you say, oh, I'm, I'm, I want you to propose this artist, a uh, show of this artist, they won't say, you? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, excusez moi. <laughs> yeah. So they, they would always have their own programs, which would mean also that they come to you to ask you some money, but also f only for shows they are have conceived. Huh? And here in Bucharest, you are more open-minded, and this is something I really appreciate. Huh? Uh, but this is partly, and that's what I say, it's partly positive and partly negative, it's partly also due to a certain structural and financial weakness of the cultural sector. Huh? To give you an example, when I'm coming to a famous Uh, uh, maybe the most famous concert hall in Bucharest uh, for classical music. Yeah? Uh, often in December they don't know exactly about the budget for the next year. And what does it mean? Yeah? Yeah? This means naturally that you can't book the, uh, the important international artists yeah? because uh, uh, in the field of music you have to book them two years or at least one year before The date. Yeah. You see, this is a complex situation. Huh? Yeah? This is a complex situation, but a situation which has advantages. Huh? And I would include in this what we talked about uh, a little bit earlier, hubs, also this alternative scene and things. So this is a real advantage. Yeah. Huh? But on the other hand, it shows also that the cultural sector isn't as developed as it is in, in, in other countries. I agree with you. It's good and it's bad at the yeah. same time. But um, I'm very happy to hear that uh, you can uh, collaborate with, uh, I don't know, a, a bunch of people in Romania and it's easier than, uh, than doing it in uh, Paris, for example. Uh, cheers to the people in Paris if they're listening or watching uh, to us right now. Um, you mentioned a bit earlier that uh, in, in Germany, uh, besides Berlin, there are other art scenes in other uh, cities. Um, did you uh, ever visit um, other cities in Romania like Timisoara, Cluj, or you know, Deva uh, that are also, I don't know, they're not as big culturally speaking as Bucharest, but uh, there is an art scene very nice developed in Cluj, for example, uh, in Sibiu. And in Timisoara, did you get to see these? Yeah, 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 because we have a network of German Romanian uh, cultural associations and we are also giving them some money for projects. So it was in Sibiu, Brasov, uh, Temisoara, Cluj, and you're completely right. Cluj is very important. Also, the University of Cluj is very important. University of Arts is very important. Very, very reactive, very motivated. So, and this is also an advantage for a country like Ro Ro Romania, where so many different urban centers. So a little bit like Germany, you're completely right. It's not everything. Con uh, yeah, it's a little bit more. But 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 you have the center. Temeswar. It's, it's an incredible, yeah. incredible mixing melting point of uh, 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 melting point of, uh, of of cultures, uh, for instance. So so this is also very interesting. But and Romania is and this is something I discovered only here. You know, this is also very interesting. In a certain way, Romania is. Uh, uh, a model for Europe, because the the way and nobody knows it in Western Europe, and this is the let's most important. Let's keep it a secret. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because let's say, let's be honest about this. Romania had from the fall on the, of the wall till 2010, 12, very bad branding in Western Europe, yeah, yeah, which you know is due to to things yeah. like. Uh, Uh, not, not it doesn't even no, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know it with all the, the dogs and all these yeah. things uh, we had about children living in the street. Yeah, so, yeah. so there are many, many points of them, and, and the Romanian partly coming to, to, to Western Europe were prostitution and but also so criminality. So, uh, so, but this is only one part, and this is a really yeah. pity because if you ever look to this to this country, you see also um, when you founded your state in in 1918. Yeah, the model 
model of giving rights to minorities, it's, it's, it's a real model. You yeah. never would see this in other countries. Yeah? Yeah? So uh, imagine today a Turkish university in Germany, which I would find great, but this is what, what exists in Romania. German schools and Hungarian national theaters and things like this. I don't say that there are not problems with certain minorities, you know, you know the of problems course. with Roma and, and yeah, them yeah. saying, yeah. Uh, uh, but this is a very important point. So, so this is what I discovered only here and I was so astonished to see that uh, though Romania is a little bit at the march of Europe, many things we don't know about you in Western Europe and Southern Europe. A friend of mine, he's an artist, uh, he used to live in Berlin, coincidence, um, he used to live in Berlin like uh, five years ago and uh, he came back to Romania and he said man you do not know but uh, our country um, is actually the best place to be because everywhere in Europe everything has been done yet. Romania is a new place to do new stuff and people don't know about it. So I, I don't know I'm, I'm uh, referring with my story yeah. to yours because it yeah. seems similar yeah. on but, the idea uh, But level. I would say and I'm discussing yeah. this with many many friends actually um, uh, and maybe I, I, I repeat myself a little bit, but it, that it's, it's, yeah, at this breaking point, this is completely true. true. But now you have to, to try to get more international. Yeah. So, and this is, this is very important. How do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is not so difficult. Yeah? And because I think one of the questions you sent me before our, uh, yeah, yeah. our uh, interview now was also the question uh, in how far cultural foreign institutes are important for this. Yeah. We have, for instance, this group of foreign institutes. It's called OINIC, European Union for National Institutes for Culture. So uh, people don't know. I'm going to stop you here because people don't know. But uh, you actually do very nice stuff with the Goethe Institute in Bucharest and uh, you have to say, I have to say that you're the president of this association yeah. of uh, cultural institutes. Yeah. Sorry for stopping you, go ahead. No, 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 you're completely right because probably this means we are a group of 17 uh, seven different countries represented by embassies and by cultural institutes and we are developing common projects because, and this is I think the most important thing, the cultural shift of Europe and also I would say the cultural performance of the European Union is that we now all um, are convinced of the importance of cultural diversity. Yeah. So it is not any more saying, oh, I have to present only German culture or French culture and I'm in competition with German, French and English culture and so on. We know that the freedom of art, freedom of culture means let them all present themselves in the most large way. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Yeah, so this beauty, and then everybody can choose what he is doing. And this is the liberty we want to give to the European citizens. What kind of projects do you do? In, the, in this association of the We do different projects. We, do, we, we I just met uh, Rosanna from Green Hours here and we are developing a new European Jazz Festival will, which should take place around the 9th of May of the Day of Europe. We are also developing a common night of literature where we present authors coming from different countries and reading texts or, or actors and like this. Uh, we are, we are uh, having every year a cultural management academy where we invite trainee, trainers from coaches from different countries uh, to foster also the, the capacity of the, of the Romanian cultural sector. Uh, also on digitalization and things like this. So we have many, many different uh, activities. And one thing is very important for you, I would say, and this is also our individual position as Cultural Institute, we quite never do things alone. This means when I'm organizing something, I want to have a Romanian partner. So it's, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's very random that I'm inviting a German artist for a German show here in, in Bucharest. And it's important for the cultural dialogue, as we say, that we have now the needs, the thoughts, the reflections of our Romanian partners. Mm -hmm. And this is why, because you asked me how we can foster this focus, I think we have a real role to play here yeah, in this kind of, of international uh, internationalization of Bucharest by uh, um, what the, our French friends does or do, what we do also by developing residencies, for instance. That's because, very important. Yeah, this yeah. is very important yeah. because we know now it is better to 
uh, it's good to have an artist who's come for two or three days, but to develop really, um, how to say, sustainable uh, uh, relationships between Romania, Germany, and the other countries, it's good to have residences. People being here for two or three weeks, meeting many different yeah. people, and then also choosing the one uh, 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 with whom they want to have any, any contact and work together. That's the best cultural exchange, yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, what's on the agenda for uh, Instituto Goethe for this year? Yes, we got. We, we talked about different uh, uh, artistic Other scenes. Let's yes, talk yeah. about your institute. Yeah, but Come you on. know, I'd, I'd like to be modest for this. I think that please develop our programs through also our Facebook site and our fa website. Yeah, one point is that we are celebrating the hundred years of a famous German artist, uh, Josef Beuys, because he's he's not only important as artist, but he's also the, one of the first artists who was ecologic. And uh, he cared also for, for, for environment, for ecologic things, and he was also very participatory. He, he, he had this famous quotation, every man is an artist. So, so, so he didn't. He, he tried to democratize a little bit the, the picture of the artist, and he came from Düsseldorf. And he was in Düsseldorf, for instance. So and there's a whole school, <laughs> an old school of artists, uh, photographers, uh, 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 and artists coming from Düsseldorf, for instance. Simpson. So this is one of the point. But still, as you, as I explained, we are not uh, importing um, uh, exhibitions uh, uh, about him or, or, or of his artworks. We have different partners. We made a project with students from Onarte. We will have an exhibition with Shena Noah, with Romanian artists reacting on the way he worked. This will be in September. And we will have another ex exhibition about jewelry uh, uh, and boys, uh, uh, also with, with partners from Romania. So this is the main point. Find the good partner here and to reflect together, to think together about how we deal with certain artists today. This is what I like about your uh, institute and uh, your institute's kind of uh, approach. Because you mentioned actually earlier, it's no secret, you prefer to uh, work locally uh, and to uh, promote internationally. I mean, uh, you talk about uh, German artists and German um, art projects, but you implement them in Romanian Bucharest with local people. Yes. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, I hope uh, we're gonna get to talk again because this discussion was kind of short, but we'll see each other in the future. I would like to thank you for participating to the show. And um, I'm gonna make the outro in Romanian because uh, our Romanian friends need to um, hear us a bit. Mulțumim frumos pentru participare. I'm going to say this in Romanian. Yeah, I understand it perfectly. No problem. I'm just learning <laughs> Romanian. Ne vedem la următorul episod de Manasia Cechin. Thank you again for uh, being with us. Cu plăcere. Mm -hmm. Manasia Cechin. Documentat, filmat și culturalizat la Manasia Hub.